What's going on guys? So in this video, I'm going to do a unboxing of the Logitech J513 Carbon RGB mechanical keyboard. And this keyboard actually features the GX Brown tactile keys. Uh, those brown keys, GX Brown keys, are a kind of competitor of the Cherry MX Brown. Uh, I never used a GX Brown key before, so I'm going to take it out, give it a few typing action and let you guys know what I think about the GX Brown keys. Now, um, just a couple of days ago, I actually did an unboxing of the G613. Um, and after that unboxing and using it for about half an hour, I returned it immediately because the G613 had a huge design flaw with the action keys on the left side, which actually totally screws up your actions for some of the most used keys here. Now the G513 comes after G613 and uh, they actually got rid of those uh, really annoying action keys. And also compared to the 613 features a full aluminum top case. So the top case instead of plastic right now is metal, full metal, okay? And the size of the keyboard got much smaller. It doesn't also it also doesn't come with a integrated palm rest in the front. Let me take out the keyboard and we're just going to take a quick look and uh, at the second part of the video, I'm going to pull my uh, my original keyboard, which is the G810. And we're going to do a comparison of the 810 and the 513 uh, head to head. OK. All right. So I took out the outer box and I was looking on the back of the box. It says it's also got a USB pass through port, which is really, really nice and thoughtful addition. Uh, what I'm seeing missing, however, that I, I'm really going to miss is the volume keys um, on the G810, which was really easy to access. So this is my wife's keyboard. I have it over here, 810. So the volume rock, like rolling switch. This is like really, really useful. It's missing from the uh, G513. OK, so instead, I think they actually integrated it into a function key right here. I'll take the keyboard out. See what's inside so you got some oh look you've got a lot of extra stuff packed in here which is nice Let's see what are those those are some extra keys for replacement interestingly um, I don't know why they include those extra keys but um, it's nice to have extra keys. And you also got a key puller for the GX Brown keys, because I think it's going to be probably slightly different uh, from the MX Brown key. Inside here, you got your keyboard. Feels really great. Feels premium right here. And uh, what we have, oh, oh, nice. You got a full-sized palm rest right here, full-sized, and it's removable. Hooray. Very, very thoughtful design. So originally, I'm just using this kind of ghetto palm rest over here. Now, I got this really nice palm rest. You got uh, some stickers. The G logo sticker. Um, doesn't look that good anyway. So, um, and your user manual, which, you know, for a keyboard is pretty much plug and play. So I'm going to leave those in here and we're going to take the keyboard out and take a look. All right, guys, so I just, you know, put the keyboard on my desk and plug it into my computer. So uh, the USB pass through port over here, it's actually a second USB cable. So that's why this this cable is much thicker. It actually has two ports. So you have to connect the other port, which is a pass through port plus the keyboard port onto the computer in order to use this port right here. But it's a pass through. So anything that needs to be charged uh, you can do it directly just plug in here and get things charged much quicker compared to using just a single USB port and have to split the power. OK, um, let's see. I'm going to remove this little sticker. But this keyboard looks really nice and it's uh, actually quite compact, even though it's a full size keyboard, it doesn't have any wasted space. And also because it's aluminum, they want you to save, you know, the aluminum material. It's because it's more expensive than plastic. Um, 
RGB keys, again, I have never typed on this keyboard. So, oh, wow. You know what? It's very similar to Cherry MX Brown keys and quite different typing experience compared to the Rumor, Rumor G. The Rumor G have more of actually a tactile feedback and the travel, I think it's slightly shorter on the Rumor G. This one have a slightly longer travel just by feel. And if you guys can hear, it's very quiet also. Um, and in terms of the pressure that you need to press down to register the key press, it's uh, it's much more, uh, you need much more pressure to, to press it down, okay? Compared to the Romer G and Cherry MX Bronze. Because I remember the MX Bronze, uh, again, I have the keyboard at work, so I can't really compare it directly with this one, but MX Bronze uh, have a lighter, uh, a lighter press feeling. So this one maybe it's 65 and the MX Brown I would say is probably 45 or 55. I forgot what the unit is for measuring the pressure, but it's much harder to press on the GX Brown keys. It's quieter, it's quieter than the Romer G. I mean the type, type feeling, um, I would summarize as tight. You got a very tight feeling when you're typing, okay? Again, I have to, you know, maybe play right around over the game and let you guys know what it feels during the gaming. Uh, I play Overwatch, but yeah, so far it feels great. And this palm rest, perfect fit, perfect angle, and it's just the right height. It feels really great. Um, also looks really nice, looks really nice. No complaints at all. The LED, it's being executed really nicely. If you look from the video, you know, it's got this very fancy, almost disco-like, um, you know, effects uh, on the side of the keys. It looks really nice. So I want to take one key out, just quickly look. So this is a GX Brown keys and the LED is being implemented on the top. And that is why they have the cutout kind of on the top. Uh, compared to the Romer G, which you have the LED like kind of in the center. So let's compare really quick. I'm gonna get one key from my wife's keyboard out really quick. So this is uh, Romer G. You have the LED much better implemented on the Romer G keys. Okay. And in terms of like, it's much lighter press required to get a key to register a keystroke and the travel is shorter, okay? That's a difference, like the quick different difference I can tell you guys like right off the bat. And it's also slightly louder. It's not as loud, but slightly louder, okay? Because there's just a little bit more tactile feedback halfway pressing down. That's the Romer G. And let's go back to the actual GX Bronze. And I don't know if this key cap is compatible with the actual um, Cherry MX, uh, you know, keys. If you, any of you knows, let me know in the comment section down below. Otherwise, it feels great. You know, initial impression feels great. And remember those keys that I told you at the very beginning. So I looked closely. All those keys are actually the original or the traditional, like, Romer G gaming keys uh, with a kind of groove embedded in there just purely for gaming. So if you want the nicer gaming experience, the more tactile, you know, feedback on the keystroke, you should replace those keys on the keyboards. <coughs> but I'm left-handed, so all those keys are useless to me. The WASD and a whole bunch of keys on the top, uh, they're useless. So I might just sell this key set. Um, but other than that, also the the the, the switch, the, the key puller, I assume it's the same uh, for the Cherry MX2. So, you know, if you have already mechanical key cap pullers, you don't really need this extra one. It's, it's pretty much the same size, okay? 
Um, so let me play a round of game and I'll come back, let you guys know what I think about the feel of the Logitech G513 Carbon RGB Gaming Keyboard. All right, guys, so I have used the keyboard for a little bit and uh, now I want to give you a conclusion on what I think about the Logitech G513, uh, which features the GX Brown slightly clicky keys and uh, compared to the keyboard that I mentioned earlier in the video, which is the Logitech G613. Actually, this is, um, I'm sorry, G810 also a RGB keyboard, but it features the um, Romer G, Romer G kind of quasi clicky keys. So in terms of performance, those two are actually on the same level. They're trying to uh, satisfy that uh, the gamer and the typist who, that gamer that types quite a lot or the typist that games quite a lot. So. They're kind of middle of the road keyboard uh, for that purpose. And today I also bought back my Logitech G610. Uh, this is the 610 that features the Cherry MX red keys. As you can see the key cap, it's red um, and it's got a white LED light. So uh, what I'm interested in is to also find out if this key from the GX Brown would work for the Cherry MX. And it turns out it's the exact same fit, same fit. So the GX Brown keys actually are, I would say, probably just a copy of the, um, the Cherry MX keys. Um, so all the keycaps are actually fully compatible. So if you have a GX Brown key, GX key, mechanical key, keyboard, and you have a Cherry keyboard, Cherry MX keyboard, and you have some keys broken, you can just sw swap them out, especially for Logitech. Now Logitech, uh, if you watched my review for the G610, uh, with this is the white, um, I think uh, they're called the putting keys because they are like kind of translucent on the bottom. So the light actually shines out quite well. I'll show you guys really quick uh, of this key on the RGB keyboard. So it's going to look like that, which is actually super fancy. Okay. So in theory, I could just literally remove my Cherry MX, you know, uh, putting keys and put it on the GX keys keyboard and still have the same nice beautiful putting that candy red or candy flashing color effect so yes they are fully compatible okay if you're wondering you know cherry mx and the gx or are, are keys interchangeable absolutely yes okay now on to the typing experience of course personally i think the gx brown keys are just a little bit too hard to press they require a uh, a little more force to press down. So uh, during the gameplay yesterday, and while I was playing Overwatch during the gameplay, it kind of feels like it gives me it gives my hand a little more fatigueness uh, when I was trying to play the game. Uh, just a couple rounds, my hand actually feel just a little tired compared to if I'm just using my Cherry MX Red keys. The MX Red, you know, definitely have a much lighter uh, click action compared to the GX Brown. Um, and it's linear. So in terms of, you know, the easiness of the gaming uh, performance, yes, I would probably still choose the Cherry MX Red if I'm doing quite a lot of gaming compared to typing. But if I need to occasionally type some documents and type some emails, type some long sentences, uh, I would probably choose the uh, those keyboards uh, over here, the G810, which has the tactile rumor G keys, or the GX Brown keyboard because those are actually um, gives a better feedback when you are typing and you know when the key is clicked. Um, so it gives you a very tactile feedback, especially for typing purpose. Okay. Um, and in terms of the LED implementation, 
the G810, which had the rumor G, uh, which had the LED in the middle. Actually, this I think has the best effect uh, in terms of LED lighting. However, if you're using the GX mechanical keyboard or if you're using the Cherry MX keys, I would highly suggest uh, go get yourself one set of those, um, uh, what's it called, the, the PBT putting keys. Those keys actually have translucent bottom, which makes all kinds of LED lighting looks super nice. Uh, so that I think in turn uh, kind of offsets a little bit of the lighting effects if you're really going for that Romer G LED, RGB LED lighting. Uh, consider the putting keys, okay? I'll post the link in the description down below on where you can get those keys, as well as all the keyboards that I mentioned in this video, so you guys can compare and contrast. And of course, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section down below, and I would be happy to answer those questions for you, okay? So thanks again for watching uh, at this kind of quick comparison video of the brand new Logitech G513 compared to the G810 as well as the G610, okay? So uh, if you found this video helpful, thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. I should have more similar videos coming out for you guys, okay? So thanks again and see you in the next video.